Hello. Welcome to Rag Rags by Erin. I'm Erin Halverson and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be working on um, focusing on how to do a double crochet. Um, uh, my channel is dedicated to rag rugs and I use a single crochet and a double crochet off and on in lots of my rugs so I wanted to give a real close-up view from the vantage point of sitting like you were sitting right with me and it, if you were the one stitching instead of from the other side of the camera. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start with doing a chain stitch and jump right in. Um, we use a 10 millimeter um, hook as for most of my rugs. You can use different sizes and a lot of people would use a Q which is quite a bit bigger but I usually stick with a 10 millimeter or an end um, crochet hook. So we're going to work on this lip knot. You're going to take your material and you're going to cross over with your material and pull it through. I'm going to do it one more time. Take your material, your um, sheet yarn, you're going to cross over and pull it through. You're going to hold, put your hook in, you're going to hold the shorter tail um, in your hand with your um, hook and we're going to do uh, a few maybe ten uh, chain stitches because whenever you do a double crochet you need to uh, do something you have need to have a stitch to have it actually go into so we're going to go ahead and do um, chain stitches so you cross over with a chain stitch and you pull it through one cross over and pull it through two don't do it too tight three, cross over, pull it through, four, because you're going to have to come back in with this yarn and go in another time so we don't want it too tight, five, six, cross over, pull it through, seven, cross over, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we did ten chain stitches. You'll use that a lot when you're making um, rag rugs as well. Okay, so it's facing this direction. You're going to then flip your material in most instances. And whatever stitch you were actually going into, it doesn't really matter, but this is uh, a chain stitch that we're going to be focusing our double crochet on. On the double crochet, we need to have more height allowance because it's a much taller stitch. So when I showed you how to do the single crochet, if you happen to view that one, we went into, this is the first one, we didn't go into that, we went into the second one right here, the second stitch was the second hole. For doing the double crochet, I'm going to go into the third hole because we need to allow a little more height. Okay, so in order to do a double crochet, you're going to take your needle and cross over with your fabric. This is the third hole. We're going in right there. We're going to put our needle in the hole and grab your material one more time. So now you have three pieces of um, sheet yarn. You're going to cross over one more time and pull the first two off. Cross over one more time and pull the second two off. This is your first double crochet. Okay, now we're going to focus on where the needle is going to go next. The hook is going to go next. You can see right here is your next hole or your next stitch, and you're going to go into that. But we first must grab the material, go into the hole, grab the material again. There's your three. Cross over and pull the first two off. Then cross over again and pull the second two off. There's your second double crochet. Let's do it again. See how we've kind of straightened this up. Make sure you keep your work straight. Here's your next hole. So that's where we're going. I kind of like to look that out before I get going. So I you're going to cross over with your material. You're going to go into that next hole or the next stitch. Grab your material again. There's three. One, two, three. Cross over. The first two come off. Cross over. And the next two come off. Let's do that one more time. Here you can see where I've joined the material and that was going to be hidden or mostly hidden. Um, this is the no-show version of the sheet yarn. And over here you can see that I have um, 
balls of uh, sheet yarn already made and you can go to my channel and view how to make sheet yarn. There's a whole playlist on sheet yarn there to, to will teach you how to do that. Okay, so here's the next stitch or hole we're going into right here. We're going to grab the material. See how we have this connected here? That's not going to slow us down a bit. We're going to go into that hole, grab the material again, and now we have three. One, two, three. Grab the material and pull the first two off. Grab the material, pull the second two off. Okay, we're going to do one more and a quicker concession. Here's your hole, your next stitch, cross over, go into that next stitch, grab your material, you have three, cross over, pull the first two off, grab your material again, cross over, pull the second two off. So these are double crochets. These are a little bit taller than a single crochet. And uh, I use this in my rag rug making, and this is a very common stitch to use in a lot of crocheting. So uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, come and view some of my other videos. I have uh, 35 other videos all um, focused on rag rug making. And I try to make it as simple and as detailed as possible. So uh, subscribe if you're interested, or come back and join and see me again. Thank you, and you have a great day.